हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम फॉर टूडे सेशन इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द मार्केट इन इंडिया दैट इज ओ टी सी ई आई ओ टी सी ई आई इज द ओवर द काउंटर एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंडिया इट इज अ वन टाइप ऑफ शेयर मार्केट स्टॉक एक्सचेंज सेकेंडरी मार्केट which was incorporated in the year of 1990 as a companies act 1952 and the same uh, market is become operational from september 1992 and the first counter is been started in bombay and then gradually uh, the market has opened many counter in different state uh, different cities of india uh, this market this exchange is recognized by the government of india as a recognized stock exchange like nsc and bsc the features of otcei it is a national and ringless and computerized national ringless and computerized exchange uh as compared to the as opposite to traditional market wherein the traditional market there is a ring called pits wherein in the ring the market maker or the broker stands and they uh, announce the buying and selling price of a particular security while uh, the ring is surrounded by the buyer who want to buyer or the brokers who want to buy or sell the shares so uh, in traditional market such kind of operating system was there while in otcei it is a national market which is ringless so there is no ring ring but the market has introduced a computerized screen based trading system which is right now followed by nsc as well as bsc also so as opposed to the traditional ring market of stock exchange now in otcei the trading is screen based that is the computerized trading is taken place in otcei here in otcei the trading take place through the networks of computer all the computers are connected with the main computer main server situated at oc otcei computers of otc dealers the dealers or the brokers who deals in otc market are called as otc dealer so their brokers computers are connected with the network which uh, the brokers are located in different places in same city and even later on when the uh, otcei has opened their branches in different cities so the broker may be located within the city or it can be out of the city but their computers are connected with the main otc market with the network system so that the same price can be displayed at everywhere at the same point of time and by doing this Uh, the aim is to reduce the price differences in different market generally the aim of creation of this otcei market was to make enable a small and medium companies generally which paid up capital between 30 lakhs to 25 crores previously it was 10 crore and now it is increased to 25 crore so that such small companies which are unable to fulfill the requirement of nsc and bsc can register can get listed in otcei market and their shares also can be treated like other companies which are registered on nsc and bsc so specifically this market is made for a small and medium size companies this market deals in various share various segments like equity segments preference shares bonds debenture warrants etc securities can be bought and sold from this market but a company 
which is listed in other recognized stock exchange that is in NSC and BSC are not permitted simultaneously for listing in OTC EI. So, it is specifically meant for a very small tiny companies which are unable to fulfill the requirement of two major stock exchanges. So, their shares can be traded in small uh, at a small level. The minimum offer the company who want to register, who want to list it on OTC market, they, they, they have to at least make a minimum offer of 40% of issued capital or rupees 20 lakh worth of shares in face value. The IPO, the offer which a small company wants to bring, they have to at least offer 40% of their issued capital or at least 20 lakhs worth rupees of shares on the basis of face value, whichever is higher. This is one only requirement for those companies who want to list it on OTC market. Now regarding the promoters who have started, promoted this organization, the OTCEI has been promoted by many financial institute like UTI, ICICI, IDBI, IFCI, LIC, GIC General Insurance Corporation, SBI Capital Market, Can Bank Financial Services, New India Insurance, Oriental Insurance, United India Insurance and National Insurance. These are the promoters of OTC, OTCEI market. They have hold various shares and started the OTC market. The operation, the all activities, the buying and selling of the shares, the transaction, the settlement, delivery of the shares, payment to uh, seller, etc. Every activity related with OTCEI are supervised by the SEBI and Government of India. The SEBI, that is Security and Exchange Board of India, is the controlling and regulatory authority for all type of stock exchange and all those intermediaries which are associated directly or indirectly with the stock exchange like brokers, sub brokers, company, uh, investors etc. For them the SEBI is the regulatory authority and hence the OTCEI market is also regulated by SEBI. The next is what advantage will have for the investors in OTCEI market. The first advantage is the investor have access to current price of all those securities which are traded in OTC market. Uh, they have access, they can see the prices on real time basis and hence this will ensure the transparency in trading. The prices are not hidden or the prices cannot be manipulated by any party as it is displayed on screen so that every investors can see the price. Further, the computerized settlement has enabled a quick settlement so that a liquidity, uh, an investor have a higher amount of liquidity. It is a pre-verified trade. All the trades taken place between buyer and seller are pre-verified and therefore there is no chance of bad deliveries. Bad deliveries means uh, the shares is been sold by the seller but buyers not receive any kind of shares or the shares are misplaced in anywhere uh, or sold to someone else and delivered to someone else or uh, the person who is dealing in fake name etc. So such kind of things cannot be possible as the trade in this market is pre-verified. The next advantage is market makers that are the brokers. Market makers are nothing but the brokers who buy and sell the security on behalf of their client, the investors. Are the, such brokers uh, ensure the price stability liquidity and depth of the market the other advantage is like the transaction is possible even from the remote location in traditional market 
the uh, broker or investor who want to buy or uh, sell the shares need to personally visit the share market to purchase and sell rather than in OTCI market it is now computer based trading so computer is located in different cities uh, and different uh, area of the city so that a person need not need not to go to the market physically to buy and sell they can uh, directly make any kind of trade from remote place situated in any city the next advantage is automatic registration of shares uh, lodged by an individual up to 0.5 percent of his total paid up uh, equity capital is possible it means if any investors, if any individual investors want to do a trade in a bulk quantity, then if his orders went up to 0.5%, then automatically registration is been done in the system. And the foolproof system where manipulation is minimum, it is a computerized and regulated system, hence manipulation will be limited. So, uh, by the order of buyer and seller can randomly match, uh, which will reduce the, um, uh, can be matched on computer screen and can be reduce the chances of manipulation. Not only investors, but companies are also having advantages like a small and medium sized companies would be able to raise capital through OTCEI market and have a liquidity and uh, can trade their shares in OTCEI market. The cost of public issue for OTCEI market is low as compared to NSC and BSC. The company uh, can get gets uh, the visibility that is uh, a company can promote their names and shares at national level. The dependable source of fund through structured bought out deals at reasonable price is possible. The companies listed on OTC would be subject to low income tax as per government's requirement. The very lengthy and very difficult process of listing in other share market are not in OTCEI. Uh, and uh, it is very easy and a uh, uh, small process as compared to the other stock exchanges and the company which require listing on OTCEI have to offer 10% of their shares for listing as against 60% uh, in other stock exchange. So the company need to offer a huge amount of capital in case of other exchanges NSC and BSC while in OTCI company with a small offering can also register themselves in OTCEI market. So that is all about today's session. Have a nice day. Goodbye.